Welcome to the Infogram DataViz Workshop Series, a collection of instructional pieces that show you how to turn your numbers into charts. I'll guide you through best practices with plenty of helpful tips along the way. Today we'll tackle data that changes over time. Numbers where you want to demonstrate a tendency over time using a large or small sample set. Also, how to show the relationship between two different data sets over the same time. Let's get started. Let's take the example of fuel prices over the last few months. I found this table of weekly gasoline prices in the US and using 1995 as a sample set. When looking at the table, it might not be immediately obvious which chart to use because it could fit a wide variety of visualizations. But if you want to clearly point out the way the numbers have been steadily increasing or decreasing over time, you can really make an impact by using a line chart. Take the numbers from your spreadsheet and insert it into the line chart. The person you'll be showing your chart to can instantly recognize that the values represent the same entity changing over time. Make sure to use the x-axis for time and the y-axis for value. Now what about if you want to compare different fuel prices, for example gasoline and diesel, and you want to display the difference on the same chart? Instead of creating another line chart, you can use the same chart with the same axis of time and price and add another column to your spreadsheet to create the second line. To keep things as visually impactful as possible, keep it simple. Try not adding more than three lines per chart, otherwise there's just too much data to process in a single glance. Also, because thin lines can easily look similar, try and use contrasting colors to ensure your samples don't get confused. Now let's say instead of tendencies you'd rather show how the values rise and fall over time, like currency. Here I found a table on Wikipedia comparing the US dollar to other currencies over the last years. Instead of using a line chart, an area chart is a bit more visually appealing because it really brings out the peaks and troughs that you want to show. Again, use the x-axis for time and the y-axis for value. It can get tricky for multiple areas, so be careful when adding more than one or limit your area chart to just one set. Now for some advanced tips. Remember, these were only simple examples. Your data may have more points in time and cover longer or shorter ranges. Infogram automatically chooses the optimal access range for your values, which is important when telling your story. Otherwise, your values could end up looking too exaggerated with huge jumps in your visualization when it's actually only a small change, or on the other hand, end up too obscured if you leave too much empty space above or below your numbers. Infogram will also automatically choose the optimal increments for your value or y-axis, so you never have to worry about getting the scale right. Labeling your axes are a good idea so that you can understand the whole picture at one glance, and it can be done in the settings along with your customizations and fine-tuning you like to make to the color or overall height of the charts for your project. With most charts, if you add a second sheet or column, it'll add a new tab which allows readers to interact with your chart and switch easily between datasets. It saves space and makes it more engaging for visitors when you publish it on the web. And there you have it! A quick overview of how to turn your data over time into a great-looking chart. With Infogram's beautiful template styles and predefined color schemes, you only need to plug in your data and presto, publish it for web sharing and download. If you have any questions, reach out to our assistants and one of our data visualization experts will be happy to answer. Be sure to check out the other videos in our series.